Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I'll teach you how to make this exact animation in Blender 2.8. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. This tutorial was made possible by Audible. Use the link below to get a free audiobook, as well as supporting longer tutorials in the future. And before we begin, make sure to download the latest version of Blender 2.8, the link is in the description. Okay, so let's start off by creating the water, so click S to scale. And then click S, then Shift Set to scale the object only on the X and Y axis. And then let's duplicate the object, so click Shift D to duplicate. Then go into Edit Mode, then Face Select, and then select the top face and then click G, then Set to grab the face on the Z axis. And this is going to be the domain, which is the border for the fluid simulation. Okay, so let's go back to Object Mode and add the uh, ball. So I go to Add, Mesh, and then add a UV sphere. And then let's go into the modifiers, add modifier, and add a subdivision surface modifier, which increases the amount of polygons. And let's set the amount of subdivisions to 3, and then apply the modifier. And then click S to scale up the sphere. And then click G, then set to grab the sphere on the set axis. Okay. And then we need to animate the uh, sphere, so click N, and I click I to keyframe the location. And then let's go to frame 30, and I click G, then set to grab the uh, sphere on the z-axis. And um, then click I to keyframe once again. And when we move on the timeline, you can see that we have the animation. So uh, let's add the fluid physics to the different objects. So for this one, fluid and the obstacle type for the sphere. And then let's select the water. And add the fluid physics. And then set the type to fluid. And then we need to select the domain, which is the border for the simulation. And then fluid. And then type domain. And we'll start off with a low resolution to see what it looks like. So let's set the final resolution to 150 before we bake, and then we will increase it later. And let's also set the viewport resolution equal to the final resolution. And for the animation speed, I like to set the end value to 10 when we have 250 frames. Okay, and uh, then let's bake the simulation. So I click bake. And after a few minutes of baking, you will have the full simulation. And uh, let's start off by hiding the original fluid object. So uh, select it. And then we need to hide the object both in the render and the viewport. So let's enable the render setting as well. And then hide it both in the render and the viewport. Okay, so let's see what the uh, simulation looks like. And uh, I think it looks okay. So uh, the next step in the tutorial is to set up the lighting, the uh, camera, and so on to uh, prepare the render. So uh, let's start off by saving before we continue. So click File, then Save As, and then save the blend file wherever you want on your computer, and then click Enter to save. And then let's select the light source. Let's go into the light settings turn it into a sun, and then set the strength to 30. And uh, click G to grab. And then let's go into the render settings, and uh, switch to cycles. And if you have a GPU, make sure to use it. If not, just keep using the CPU. And then let's set the amount of samples to 200. And if you have a GPU, make sure to increase the tile size. If not, just leave them at 64 if you only have a CPU. Okay, so let's go into rendered view to see what it looks like. And uh, we also need to change the background color. Let's go to the world settings, and let's make it completely white. I also like to increase the background strength, so let's set it to 3.5. And you can also hide the overlay, so that you can't see the grid in the viewport. Okay, and then let's select the fluid. Let's add a material. And then let's use a glass material and change the IOR to uh, 1.33, which 
which is the water value and uh, let's set the roughness to 0.1 which I think uh, looks good for these types of uh, simulations and for the color let's just make it uh, blue as you can see the color wheel looks kind of strange but that's just a bug for some of the 2.8 builds okay and then we need to select the sphere and uh, you can select it in the top right corner and then let's add a, a new material so click new and I will use a uh, glossy shader for uh, the uh, sphere let's set the roughness to uh, 1 and uh, let's make it orange okay so now we have the uh, color and uh, let's just move on the timeline to see what it looks like and I think it looks okay so uh, now the next step of the tutorial is to set up the uh, camera so to look through the camera you need to click numpad 0 and uh, then let's lock the camera to view so go to uh, view and then lock camera to view let's go backwards and we also need to increase the range of the camera so let's select the camera and then go into the camera settings and increase the end value which increases the range of the camera and then let's go a bit backwards and then I move along the timeline to make sure that everything is within the frame of the camera and then let's move the uh, camera a bit backwards and I think this looks okay so uh, the next step in the tutorial is to increase the resolution of the simulation to uh, make it look even better so uh, let's select the fluid and then go into the uh, fluid physics settings and before we bake let's just uh, create a new save in case something crashes so just click on the plus sign and then save as blend file and then let's increase the final resolution to 250 this is probably going to take a few hours to bake so if you don't want the high resolution you can just keep it at uh, 150 and then click bake to uh, bake the animation and after a few hours of baking we have a uh, even better looking simulation so let's see what it looks like and as you can see there are much more details in this uh, new simulation and if you increase the uh, final resolution even more you're going to have even more details but I think 250 and 150 is uh, more than enough for now so let's create a new save click save as click on the plus sign and save as blender file right now it looks like we have two bolts so I'm just going to rotate the camera a bit so uh, lock camera to view and uh, then the next step of the tutorial is to get into the output settings so that we can uh, choose the folder for the final animation so uh, let's go to output and then select a uh, folder and then let's create a new folder somewhere on your computer give it a name and then select the folder and then give the animation a name just going to go to toot and I click enter and uh, let's make a few test renders before we start the uh, final render of the final animation so uh, go up to uh, render and I click display mode and an image editor and I click render once again and let's render the image and after a few minutes of rendering you have the uh, rendered image let's do a second test render as well just to see what it looks like so let's move to one of the later frames and then go to render and then render image okay so now it's finally time to render the whole animation so just uh, let's go into solid view and uh, look through the whole simulation to make sure everything is okay and I think it looks good so uh, let's uh, 
save the uh, file before we continue. Save as, click on the plus sign, save as Blender file, and then we can finally render the whole animation. So you just click render and then render animation. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll post more Blender 2.8 tutorials very soon. So thank you guys for watching and subscribe.